हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ यू हैवेंट सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल येट नाउ लेट्स सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम इन दिस प्रॉब्लम वी आर आस्क टू डिटरमाइन द फोर्स इन मेंबर डीजी राइट सो दिस इज दैट डीजी मेंबर एंड वी आर रिक्वायर्ड टू फाइंड द फोर्स इन दिस पर्टिकुलर मेंबर राइट सो नाउ वी विल सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम बाय यूजिंग द मेथड ऑफ सेक्शंस राइट सो इफ वी pass a section from this dg member so we can pass a section we can pass various cutting sections imaginary cutting sections right so we can pass a cutting section like this right but if we pass this cutting section so as we can see that this cutting section passes through four members right so 1 2 3 and 4 and we can pass a cutting section like this as well again this cutting section is passed through four members right 1 2 3 and 4 right so since the number of equations uh, the number of equilibrium equation is 3 right the summation of forces along x the summation of forces along y and the summation of moment right so if the number of unknowns is more than the number of equations then we cannot find uh, all of these unknowns right so we first we will pass a cutting section such a cutting section that pass through three members at least right so that we so that the number of equations and the number of unknowns are equal right so first what i will do is that i will pass an imaginary cutting section like this right so from this cutting section uh, we can see that we will cut this ed this df and this gf force right so first we will find these three unknowns are some of the unknowns from these three and then we will then we will pass a cutting section from this dg uh, and then we will find that dg member force right so now if i pass a cutting section from like this so then we we will consider this side of the free body diagram we will consider this side of the truss right this is the left hand side of the truss right but before going to pass this cutting section first what we what we need to do is that we need to find this reaction at least if we are considering the left hand side of this truss so then at least we need to know this a reaction right the reaction at this roller support right so let's say that the reaction at this support is a right so now if we apply the summation of moment if we consider the whole truss and if we apply the summation of moment about point b equals to 0 and if we consider that the counter clockwise moment is positive right so as we can see that this a support is producing the clockwise moment about that point b so i will write minus a and the perpendicular distance of this a from that point b is all of these panels have length of 4 meters right so this is 4 4 4 and 4 so we have five panels so the perpendicular distance of this a from that point b is 4 times 5 so this is 20 so i will write minus 20a right similarly all of these l forces are producing the counter clockwise moment about that point b right so we can write plus l and the perpendicular distance of this l from point b is 20 then again plus l the perpendicular distance of this l from point b is 20 minus 4 right so this is 16 similarly this l so we will write plus again l the perpendicular distance of this l is 12 then plus one another l this one right so perpendicular distance is 8 and this l right so the perpendicular distance is 4 and this l is passing through that point b so it is not producing the moment about that point b so this will be equal to 0 so we can write that 20a equals to l we can take l common from this and this will be 20 plus 16 plus 12 plus 8 plus 4 and then a will be equal to we can write a divided by 20 right so from this a equals to 3l right So now we know that the reaction at this point A is equal to 3L, right? 
now uh, once we know this reaction at point a so we can pass a cutting section right so let me pass a cutting section so we will consider the left hand side of the truss right so we can say that we can assume that the de member force is tension force which is acting away right this is also acting away and this gf force is also acting away right so we can write that this is gf or FG, let me write it as FG, right? So this is FG, this is DF, and this is ED or DE, right? So now, as we can see, that this DE and this DF they are passing through this point D. So now, if we uh, apply the summation of moment about point D equals to zero, so then we will eliminate both of these. And that equation will give us this Fg force, right? So let's say that we want to find the moment about the summation of moment about point D equals to zero, and let's say that the counterclockwise moment is positive, right? So as we can see that both of these are not producing the moment about point D. So this Fg is producing the moment about point D. And as we can see that it is producing the counterclockwise moment about point D. So we will write Fg. And the perpendicular distance of this Fg from that point D is this distance, this 3. So we will multiply it with 3. Now, as we can see that this L is producing the counterclockwise moment about that point D. So again, I will write plus l and the perpendicular distance of this l from that point d is this distance this 4 so we will write multiply by 4 again this l is producing the counterclockwise moment so we will write plus l and the perpendicular distance of this l from that point d is 4 plus 4 so it is 8 and again this is producing the clockwise moment about point d so we will write minus 3 l and the perpendicular distance of this reaction from that point D is again 4 plus 4, so it is 8, right? So we will write that this is 8, or we can multiply this with 8, right? So this is equal to 0, right? So we can write that this is 3Fg, and if we take L common from this, so this will be L. 4 plus 8 and this is minus 24 and this will be equal to 0. Now from this, this Fg member force is equal to 4L and as we can see that this Fg force is acting away from this point F and it is positive, right? So this means that the assumed direction is accurate. So this means that Fg force is the tension force, right? So now once we know this Fg force, we can find this Dg member force by using the method of giants as well, right? Since in this statement, we are not specified that uh, find the solution of this problem by using method of sections or method of giants, right? So we can apply both the methods in one particular problem, right? So if we further continue this problem with method of sections, so that, that will complicate the problem, right? That will make our calculation lengthier right so it is better to find this dg member force by applying the method of uh, joints right so now what we will do is that we will consider this joint g let me write that we are considering joint g and then we will consider the free body diagram right of these three forces right at joint g we have this dg member force this fg member force and this gh member force right so now let me consider that so now from this we know that fg member force is tension force so it is acting away right and let's say that that it is also acting away and let's say that it is acting towards this joint g Right, so now as we can see that this uh, GH member force is making some angle with the horizontal, right? It is making some angle theta, right? So we have to find this angle theta. So this DG length is 3, right? So this means that this length is 3 and this total length is 4. So this length is 4 minus 3, so it is 1. 
and this length the base of this triangle is 4. So now we can find this theta by applying tan theta. So tan theta will be equal to 1 divided by 4 or we can say that theta equals to tan inverse 1 divided by 4. So theta equals to 14.04 degrees, right? So now we want to find this dg member force, right? So this is dg and this is gf. We know this gf member force, right? So now if we apply the summation of forces along x equals to 0 at joint g, summation of forces along x equals to 0 and let's say that this is our positive direction, right? So now as we can see that this GH member force will have one component which will be acting in this direction. So this is the cos component, right? So the cos component is acting in the negative direction. So I will write minus GH cos of theta and theta is 14.04 degrees. And similarly, this GF is acting in the negative direction. So I will write minus GF or FG. So this FG member force is 4L, so I will write 4L and this is equal to 0. So from this we can write that GH is equal to 4L divided by minus cos of 14.04 degrees. So from this GH equals to 4.12 and this is minus 4.12L and from this minus sign this means that the assumed direction is not accurate, right? It is acting away from this joint G. So this means that GH is 4.12L and it is the tension force, right? Now if we apply the summation of forces along Y equals to 0, so that will give us that DG member force and let's say that the, the upward direction is positive, right? So this GH member will have one component in the upward direction, right? And this is the sine component of this GH, right? So DG is acting in the positive direction. So I will write DG plus GH sine of theta. And theta is 14.04. And GH is also known. This is in this particular direction. GH is minus 4.12L, right? So I will write minus 4.12L and this will be equal to 0. So from this dg will be equal to 4.12L sine of 14.04 degrees. So from this dg comes out to be 0 0.999. So we can say that this is 1L, right? So we can add that this is L. And as we can see that DG is acting away from this uh, joint G. So this means that this is the tension force, right? So this is the DG member force that was required. 